is lost, I will walk the way of the cross. Praise God. He's alive. He's alive forevermore. Welcome to Daily Moments of Inspiration. Let's listen to the testimony and to the witness of St. Matthew. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came, and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment as white as snow. And for fear of him the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. See the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly, and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee, there shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. And then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go and tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. The testimony of St. Mark. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome had, brought, had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of this sepulcher? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulcher, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And he saith unto them, Be not affrighted. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter, that he goeth before you into Galilee. And there shall ye see him, as he said unto you. And they went out quickly, and fled from the sepulchre. For they trembled and were amazed, and neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Now when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. And she went and told them that had been with him, as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive and had seen, been seen of her, believed not. And after that, he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it unto the residue. Neither believed they them. And afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat. And he rebuked them. He upbraided them, reproved them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel, the good news, to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. And so then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following Amen. And so we have the witness of Matthew. We have the witness of Mark. 
We have the witness of Luke. We have the witness of John. We have the witness of Paul the Apostle. We have the witness of above 500 at one time. Many that saw our Lord Jesus Christ after He had arisen from the dead. And now we have this witness in ourselves. For this Son of God that rose from the dead has now returned because He said this, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. And He says, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there you may be also. We have this witness on the inside of us by the Spirit that God hath given unto us for our spirit beareth witness with His Spirit that we are the children of God. And this kingdom is now on the inside of us. But we await for something. What are we awaiting for? We're awaiting for a great and a mighty resurrection of all the church of the living God, the body of the saints, those which have passed away, those which have died, those which have gone to be with the Lord as to the Spirit. But brother and sister, there's going to be a resurrection of the dead both of the just and of the unjust and our mortal body shall put on immortality and this corruptible body shall put on incorruption and the dead shall come forth out of the grave hallelujah just as Jesus came forth out of the grave and many of the bodies of the sleeping saints arose after his resurrection and appeared in the holy city unto many and they saw him after Jesus had arisen from the dead and so we also look for a resurrection we look for a new life for brother and sister this is the hope of the church this is the hope of the body of Christ that our eyes shall behold him hallelujah and we shall stand this as the as the man of, of Old Testament time said my I shall stand though though after my skin worms destroy this body yet in my flesh shall I see God whom I shall see for myself and mine eyes shall behold and not another though my reins my being be consumed within me friends there's a resurrection that's coming coming also. Hallelujah. And the Bible says we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God for this wonderful resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so I declare unto you this day, he is alive. He has risen from the dead and we bear witness he is alive from the dead by many signs and wonders and miracles and healings that God has done for these past 2,000 years and continues to do until the time of the great earthquake and the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ which he promised would truly come. He is alive, friend. Hallelujah. He is the resurrection as he said. I am the resurrection and I am the life. May God bless you receive his wonderful word on the life eternal and under the resurrection of the dead.